guys it's morning time don't mind my appearance I just woke up and I want to go take a morning snorkel we're in Long Island right now we were gonna leave at 4 a.m. and somebody woke me up at 4 a.m. and then what happened Matt it was dark I was groggy I tied a terrible knot to my mane and then I just pulled the whole the whole line through the mast so I'll be running up that mast again to <laughs> feed that bad boy back through that's gonna be a pain in my ass but but it's not the worst place to be stuck obviously the water's so beautiful that I'm waking up and we're gonna just go snorkeling so come along with us all right guys check out my redneck dinghy davits I just hooked up some pulleys so that I can carry my dinghy completely out of the water this was the first try of it I do like it so I'm gonna beef it up make it more efficient and better um, so all you haters out there, go ahead and tell me how dumb it is and how much you hate my guts. And, uh, <laughs> we're going to get the dinghy down today and we're going to keep it moving. As you can, as you guys already know, I had to drill all kinds of holes for bolts because my, I don't know what they're called, the things that screw on snapped completely off. So I'm going to be in the works of trying to get that fixed too. So for now, it's just a big pain in the ass, pain in the butt, excuse me. And, uh. We're gonna keep it moving. We're at Long Island, Bahamas. It's super natural out here. It's like abandoned. No one's out here where we're at on the north side. So we're gonna to try to adventure and uh, hopefully we enjoy it. And hopefully you enjoy it. So we've been putting it off, but today is the day. We've been snorkeling and fishing instead of doing our boat projects, but our weather window looks like it's gonna be coming, so we gotta send Matt up the Matt up the mast. That's hard to say three times fast. We gotta send Matt up the mast, and we're gonna use our... We're gonna use a little more safety equipment than we did last time. If you've watched our channel, one time I just had to free climb it. We were in the middle of the ocean. We didn't have as much time, but today I'm not going to be free climbing because I'm going to be spending a little more time up there uh, dealing with lights and antennas and things like that. So I'm going to be going up. Nice, calm day. We're going to be using the boats and chair this time. She's going to go ahead and winch me up. I'll have my safety cables all set up. So rest assured, Mama, I'm not taking my life into my hands this time. I'm being a good boy. So, I finally go up the mast, beautiful weather out here, and as soon as I do, I got rain that way, I got rain that way behind me, and I'm stuck up here. I can't leave, so I'm pretty much going to get soaked. Not fun. All 
Alright guys, I'm going out in the rain. I'm feeling bad that he has to sit there. I made a contraption now, and I'm going to try to pull the tip of the rope through with that contraption. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so she did it. I've been up here for about an hour. It was hard for her to get the get the thing through, but she persevered. And uh, I got soaked. It rained for about 30, 40 straight minutes in the court. Yeah, it was a bummer, but all in all, from up here, it's gorgeous. You can't beat it. We finally did it. After a lot of cussing from me, hooking, I had to hook the cord with the hook, tie a line to it, I had to pull it towards the wall and then get my finger in the hole and get just the tip to come out. It was a nightmare. Just the tip. <laughs> and poor Matt was just hanging there getting his circulation cut off by that stupid chair. Yeah, the Bolson chair, I didn't tie my loop right. And it was kind of cutting into me, but uh, it wasn't too bad. The worst part was that we got soaking wet. It rained nonstop, and it looks like it broke now. Typical my look, but yeah, I got soaked. I was up there for what, 30 minutes in the rain, you'd say? Yeah. It poured for like a solid 30 minutes. It sucked. That was a bummer, but all in all, it was pretty okay. And we probably learned our lesson, right? Yes. Good knots are important. <laughs> I uh, don't get up early in the morning and just go, ah, huh, groggily. Pulling ropes. Some knots, yanking ropes, and all of a sudden you're you're out there because it's a little pain in the butt to get it uh get it done. But it was a good thing. It's the first time you sent me up the mass with the winches, so now we know how we learned. It was a good learning experience, and we got trapped here at this anchorage, which ended up being beautiful. I would say. Yeah. We enjoyed our time here. But yeah, today was a little pain in the butt. But I did it, and I did it all in a skirt, even if my skirt's wet. I don't know, I saw you put on your whole rain jacket. I looked down, and the rain jacket was on, and she said, I'm not letting this rain stop me. I thought for sure I was just going to get abandoned. No, I felt guilty. <laughs> I felt guilty sitting inside, so I said, I better get my booty out there. I was like, she's going to go inside and just hang out and be in here playing on Netflix or something. But she came back, rain suit on, saved me, and... Uh, yeah, we did it. Now we got ropes and we'll be able to set sail when we get our window. All right, guys, so it's that time again. We got kind of behind a little bit on our shout outs to our Patreons because we had pre scheduled videos, but we're just going to do a whole big shout out right now to shout out everybody. And yeah, this is our shout out just to let you know we do love you, do appreciate you. We notice. And we're going to start with more Patreon-only content, things like that for you guys. And we're really trying to figure out the live chat. We're just struggling out here in the Bahamas, you know. We're not super tech-savvy, so certain places got good stuff and certain places don't. So don't worry. It's coming. We're keeping you in the loop, and we just want to give a personal Yeah, thing. and for the people that have patroned us and then left already, we still got your names down. We got everybody's names down, I think. I'm pretty sure we do. We tried, and if we didn't, let us know. Because we don't want to miss you. All right, so here we go. Drum roll. Okay. We did it in alphabetical order. Okay, guys. So Aldo Fidel or Fedele, which however you pronounce it, please let me know. All about fun with two ends. Bob Camarota, Bayou Bookie, Boone Brown, Boone Digby. <laughs> we got a lot of Boons. I don't know why. I like that name. We might have to name that. Our first child, Boone, because we got a lot of Boones. It's the world trying to tell us something. Cliff Maynard, Chip Workman, Kurt Vanderwerf, Vanderwerf, I think. Vanderwerf, maybe. I don't know how to say it. We'll have to work on the pronunciation, guys. Please <laughs> let us know. Dave Kraft, I'm sure I got that one. David Hoffman, David Rollins, Simply Ed, Edward Trees. Why did you laugh on that? Just Edward Trees. It's a, it's a good name. <laughs> Felton Siegler. George S. Jenkins. Grant Lee. Greg. Greg Boone. Another Boone. Holly Point. J. Paul Jones. James H. Bonnet. 
James H. Bonnet. Wasn't that Billy the Kid's name? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Jean Mondel. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. <laughs> Jefferson Alessandro. Jim and Kelly. Big ups to Jim and Kelly. Kent Seaman. What's up, Kent What's Seaman? What's up, Kent? Larry Cole. Lee Word. Mark Crichton. Michael Lynch. Michael Norwood. Almost there. Michael Dohan. Dohan, Dohan, Dohan. Let us know. Mike Gaston. Gaston. Neil R. Nelson. Nelson Whitaker. Simply Noel. Noel. Peter Favre. Favre. Favre, maybe? Favre? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, you can do better, Matt. <laughs> Peter Robinson. Renzo Brennan. Sean. Steve Pendleton, Steve Walden, Thomas and Rachel Zurian, Zarian, Tim Martin, and Tom Cunningham. Yay! We did it. We made it. Thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. It helps more than you could ever know. Obviously, the ads don't do much on YouTube. That's a little, little bit of chump change for those ads. Yeah, we really didn't realize you guys were, you know gonna come in that handy or the impact that you would make until ice started costing like $15 a bag then I was like oh man glad I got those patreons in the back pocket that was nice so uh let us know what you think and stay in touch and like I said we got live chat coming we got it coming. I promise you we're trying to figure it out it's and, gonna be fun I'm excited oh and I think bear has a special message for you guys after right after this so she wants to say thank you as well so make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and we'll see you next time bye bye hey guys what's up it's me bear probably not the voice you expected from me but this is my voice i just want to give a special thanks to all the patreons because my dad said that without you guys he would not have bought me these friskies honestly friskies is not my brand i'm a meow mix kind of cat but Friskies is still good. It's all they have in the Bahamas, so we're all making sacrifices out here. I really just wanted to thank you guys, so um, thank you so much, and I'll see you next week, hopefully. Bye!